Hello everybody and welcome back to Chi Parker's Arcade. I'm going to do a quick little video for you. Uh, I had a suggestion uh, in one of the comments on my Harlem Globetrotters uh, video that I did where I uh, told you how to get that uh, all set up with all your files and everything for Pinball Emporium. And I want to give a special shout out to uh, Jose Taveras. And I hope I'm saying that res right uh, respectfully, sir. I ho hope I uh, didn't min mispronounce that. But I want to give him a special shout out because he put these instructions in a comment that I kind of knew about this. As a matter of fact, I'd already done it before, but I completely forgot about this. And I think it's a good thing to pass along to all my viewers out there that are using Pinball Emporium. So here's what the issue is. Uh, you get a new table and let's say you install a new uh, well first let's say you just install a new table well if you look at the top of my playfield screen there you will see you get uh, all tables pin event tables Gottlieb tables all these categories you can scroll through on your pinball emporium now, every time you put a table in it shows up in all tables automatically if you put in a uh, Visual Pinball X table, it automatically appears in the Visual Pinball X. Same thing with a Future Pinball. But now I'm going to tell you how to not only, they'll, all, they'll always go in those under All and then under Visual Pinball X if you download one of those and put it in, or uh, a Future Pinball. But now we're going to talk about how to move them into one of these subcategories. So you can see there's TV, Terror, I've already scrolled through some video games, Sports. Sports is the one we're going to talk about because uh, Jose said, hey, uh, I took and put the whole Harlem Globetrotters in under my sports category and this is how I did it. So I want to thank him and I'm going to share with you how we do that. So with that being said, let's back out of Pinball Emporium. Okay, we're out of Pinball Emporium. Let's go over to, well, you don't want to look at me. Let's go over and look at my file manager. Okay, we're in the file manager, and you're under Pinball Emporium. The first thing you got to do is get the name of the table. You could already have done this when you're installing it, but we're going to do this one with one that's already installed, which is the Harlem Globetrotters. So we're going to go down here to Emulators under Pinball Emporium. We're going to go to Visual Pinball. We're going to go to Tables. Here's all the Visual Pinball tables. So the first thing you're going to do is you have to have this name exactly the way it is the file is named. There's Harlem Globetrotters. Harlem Globetrotters Ballet, parentheses, Ballet 1979, parentheses, underscore VPX, underscore Dozer, underscore 1.0 a.vpx. You don't need the extension. You don't want the extension. So I just highlight it like so by clicking on it. Just the name is darkened. Right click on it and copy. So all you got to do, you got to have the exact name just like your direct B2S file has to be named exactly the same. This process is. So get the table and do that. Now go back to Pinball Emporium. You're going to go over here to Collections and you're going to see all these. You're going to see Gottlieb, Kids, MAME, uh, Originals, uh, Sports. I, I don't think I'd mess with Pinball FX2 and FX3 because I haven't been dealing with those anyway. Uh, I guess you could explore that possibility if you want, but right now we're looking at sports. So we're going to go to the sports because that's what we want to add Harlem Globetrotters to. And if you open up sports, you notice you have these files in here. Now, if you go back here and you open up Stern, if you downloaded a Stern table, you got the same folder, same files in here. Okay, same files. But we're dealing with sports. So we're going to open up sports. Now, if this was a future pinball table that we were adding, we'd use this file here, futurepinball.sub. 
if you were doing a pinup, you'd use VPX pinup.sub, but we're installed a Visual Pinball X game. That's what folder it's in. That's what type of game it is, type of table it is. You're going to click on that. You're going to right click on it. And you're going to hit open with notepad. And there's a list of all the tables. that are going to show up under that subcategory. Now, some have said to keep these in alphabetical order. I played with this and I don't think it matters how you put them in here because I think they show up in alphabetical order. The system does that for you automatically and we're going to find out because I'm going to put... I'm going to go down here, right below mini cycle. I'm going to right click or you can go up here and hit edit. You can do paste. There's the file name just added, not in a row, just below. <coughs> That's a column of names. So we got Harlem Globetrotters saved. Hit file, save, close it. Let's go back and open up Pinball Emporium. Now, let's move on over to sports. There's sports. I use that M key that uh, Jose also told me about. <laughs> but instead of scrolling through all the tables, it'll take you to the next letter in the alphabet. Oh, there's Harlem Globetrotters. What's next? Hoops. Oh, Michael Jordan. Mini cycle. I don't know why I put mini cycle in there. You know, I did that a while back just playing with this and didn't even think about passing this on to you or didn't even remember about how to do it until Jose said something about it. So this is a great deal. So you can see, and I'll now see what I can do. Okay, let's reverse engineer this. So see, there you've added it. Now, I know I go on too long sometimes, but uh, let's face it. Let's get out of this. Hit this. I'm just going to redo this again and, 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 re and reverse it and take that mini cycle out. Remember, Pinball Emporium, Collections. This time we're dealing with the category of sports. Open that up. That was a Visual Pinball X table. We're going to open this, but you can't double click on it and open it. You've got to open with notepad and if notepad doesn't show up then open up notepad and tell it to open that file. I think the only reason they did this is I associated that with notepad before I did this video for you tonight. So maybe you'll get lucky and it'll show up but if not you may have to open up notepad and then point it to that file. Anyway open it with notepad. There we are again. Blow this up big so you can see it. My letter, my uh, font on here is kind of small so I hope you can see it but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to back mini cycle. Let's back mini cycle out of there. Back it up one more so that Harlem Globetrotters falls right below that WWF Royal Rumble. We're going to hit file, save. We'll close. It. Let's go back to Pinball Emporium. We'll go back to Sports and we'll see if Minicycle disappeared. And just so I'm giving full disclosure, I'm using a keyboard. If, you, if your cabinet does not have if you're having trouble scrolling back and forth, remember you, you, you program your joy to key in Pinball Emporium. The control key moves you across this up here. And your shift key is what's
scrolls you down through them, and then M and N go through the alphabet. But um, so on my cabinet, I've got a button that obviously does shift because that's your flipper, but I also have one that. Uh, Does your uh, you, you know your shift key and I got one for control or two for control control left control right so I can scroll back and forth okay uh, I think mini cycle's gone yes it is so with that being said there you go um, I'm gonna come out of here I'm gonna go here and say hey listen thanks for watching I hope this helps you with your pinball emporium it's another little tip and trick on what to do to uh, change things up a little bit make it a little more exciting make it the way you want it so I've gone on long enough thanks for watching if you like it give me a thumbs up if you had trouble understanding it or had a problem with it uh, leave me a comment and subscribe if you like thanks for watching have a good one